Ah, oh, there you are. A very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Very good morning to you. Bit of a crooky throat this morning, so you'll just have to bear with me. This is just a short promotional video to say join me tonight at 10 o'clock sharp on Facebook Live. Right click on the link, make sure you're there, be there or be square, and spread the word, share, 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 share. Tell everybody about Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock every Sunday night. George Raffin's watching, Ron Stewart and Paul Goodyear. Dinky do to you guys. It's my birthday on Tuesday. Can I get a shout out, Scotty? Says Laura Duddy. Dinky do, Laura. It's my birthday as well. So, yes, you can have a shout out anyway, and you can definitely have a shout out. Now, guys, what a week it's been. Happy Sunday. Aaron Stewart's watching. Dinky do, Aaron. How are you? And dinky do to Ron as well. What a week it's been, guys. Terrible tragedy in London, the inferno in the tower block. How can we stop that ever happening again? We need to talk about that tonight. Had that spread, we could have had another great fire of London. And uh, also, it's Father's Day, of course. So a very, very happy Father's Day to all of you fathers watching and to all your fathers and to those who are no longer with us. Um, Big Archie, I say thank you to him, my wonderful father. You can uh, see his picture up on uh, Twitter. I've just put it on Twitter and I'll put it up on Facebook as well later in the day. We shall get that sorted for you. So we're discussing that but also tonight I'd like to discuss an NHS for dogs and cats, small animals as well. Of course, your cockatoo, your cat, your mouse, your whatever. So we're talking about that as well. Very, very important because how many of you have ever taken your, uh, your beloved pet to the vet and they said, oh, well, it would cost them maybe two or three hundred pounds. Like, I don't have that kind of money. So there we are. Good luck to you, Captain, my Captain. The happy Sunday, says everybody. Alan Stitt's watching. Alan Stitt, you wonderful fellow. Thank you for all your excellent comments. And um, it's been a very interesting week. I was thinking if uh, the Tories don't actually want uh, to hand over power to Mr. Corbyn yet, then what they could do is uh, get into discussions with the SNP. That would be better than going into political quicksand with the DUP from Northern Ireland. So uh, that would be worth uh, discussing as well. We'll have a look at that and see what's what. I've also been a tiny bit shocked by one or two so-called nationalists recently being slightly anti-royalist. And I say, don't ever go down that road, because if you're against the Crown in any way, then obviously independence will never happen. That uh, it will just scupper the whole thing. And we don't want that, because economically, we know that Scotland, I mean, I'm not a political animal, as you know, but economically, we know that Scotland could manage very, very well on its own, keeping all the money that it earns within Scotland to feed Scottish children. Very, very important. <laughs> Uh, poor Scotty, you sound a bit rough. A little bit rough today, George. Um, but don't worry, that'll come back. I think it's a tiny little bug that attacks the vocal cords. After James Wright has shared the video. Fantastic. Love the blaze on tie, Scotty. Thank you. I always like to smarten myself up for you guys. Somebody asked what's under the bonnet, and I showed them the roll this morning. So there you are. Um, now, what have we got here? Neil Tipping's watching. Dinky you do to Neil, one of the finest... Um, Wizards of the big switchboard that Scotty McClure ever had. Great guy. And of course, the Scotty McClure show is 25 years old a week tomorrow. Silver Jubilee. 25 glorious happy years of information, education and entertainment for the nation. From me, Scotty McClure. It'll be interesting to see what the next step is. Obviously, radio is becoming more and more automated and networked and what have you. So there's very, very little chance for any actual broadcasting of uh, of discussion programs but i would send a little warning shot across the establishment's bows and say that you know out of the 325 million quid that the bbc take out of scotland every year i'm sure they could manage to fund the scotty mccluse show and of the several billion that they take from the people i'm sure they could manage to fund 
a Scotty McClure show. And uh, a national phone-in would be ideal because had we had a national phone-in, there wouldn't have been the same level of surprise and shock at the general election. The problem that Mrs May has got at the moment, she doesn't have a proper national Scotty McClure phone-in that the people can trust. And that's what you need. You need somebody that people say he's not following any agenda. He's telling it like it is now. I know that strikes fear into the heart of the establishment, but it shouldn't do because uh, you can speak to the people. And if somebody is being thoroughly unpleasant, you can always cut them off. So there we are. Uh, Angela Goodlett's watching. Deepest sympathy to all those in the London flats. Quite right, George. We stand together with our London neighbours. And uh, had that spread, we could have had another great fire of London. How do we stop it happening again? Tragic, tragic, tragic. Uh, big thanks, Scotty, says Neil Tipping. Not at all, Neil. Good morning to you, says Angela. Lynn Gilfillan is watching. We welcome you, Lynn Gilfillan. Now, guys, what you must do with this promo is share it. Anything you see with the name Scotty McClue on it, just share it. Automatically share it. Um, who have we got here? Billy Matheson's watching. Fantastic. If you'd like to share the video, guys, that would be great, because we have so much to discuss tonight. We're discussing what happened in London this week with the Grenfell Tower fire. Uh, but also, uh, so how can we stop it happening again? Also, we'd uh, like to discuss Father's Day. What does that mean in this day and age? Very, very important. Uh, Alex Michael Brockett is watching. Good morning to you, sir. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Don't forget tonight, guys, 10 o'clock sharp. Should we have an NHS for dogs? Right? Very, very important. An NHS for dogs. We know the tremendous success of the NHS, and that's why the greedies are queuing up to see if they can make money out of the sick. We need to put a stop to that. Very important. And keep it well within the government. Good morning, Scotty. I hope you're well, says Billy Matheson. And Billy, I've got a slight croak. Don't worry about me. It's not painful or anything. It's just that, um, uh, you know, this little uh, bug is attacking my vocal cords. So we'll hopefully sort that out um, and it'll be better by tonight. Marvellous stuff. Right, I'm going to push off, guys. Um, follow Scotty McClue on Facebook. Follow Scotty McClue on Twitter. Subscribe to Scotty McClue on YouTube. Very important. I need about another, I think it's about another 98 uh, no, sorry, 92 subscribers. So if there are 92 of you out there that are not afraid of work and you can click on Scotty McClue YouTube channel, subscribe, that would be appreciated. Marvellous. A bonny chapeau, Scotty, plus some intriguing patter. Congrats on your anniversary and a lovely accent. May your sun continue to rise. A greetings from Japan, from a fellow Scottish fellow. See more. Oh, I'm very wary of seeing more. We did it once and lost the whole broadcast. I'll try it. Um, from Dinky Do as I. Best keep your bonnet on, says Billy Matheson. I agree, Billy. We're getting thinner on the top there. Do you know what I mean? I uh, hope to catch you later, Captain. Good morning, Scott here, says Alex Michael Brockett. Good morning to you, Alex Michael Brockett. I'm going to push off, guys. I'll see you later. And goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A we Thursday, au revoir, and a cheerio. Remember, always support the royal family, our southern lady, the Queen, because that will allow us not to confuse the crown with the parliaments. Dinky-doo!